what is going on guys in this video we are going to have a tutorial on how to program an ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and the ESP8266 that I am using right now for this tutorial is ESP01 and the Arduino is the Arduino Uno board so this is the general diagram and the pin description of the ESP8266 you can pause the video and read it I just want to make a note about the pin 4 that is chip enable you have to keep it enabled that is on high at 3.3 volts whenever you are using the chip normally and I'm making this video not for a project but I want to demonstrate how to program an or how to program an ESP2266 using an Arduino if you don't have this dedicated ESP01 adapter serial adapter normally people say and in this video I have only snapped the relevant parts of the Arduino Uno and they are zoomed and mentioned as here the serial serial pins or the serial GPIOs of the Arduino is on the top right corner and the power grid or the power provided from the Arduino is at the bottom right corner so let's switch to ESP8266 let's provide it 3.3 volts first and believe me if you provide 5 volts at VCC I think you're going to damage your ESP8266 module so I've connected my VCC with the 3.3 volt supply provided by Arduino Uno and yes ground is obviously required since I want CH I mean the chip enable to work I am going to high it I mean going to put it to high state so in parallel with VCC so CHPD the GPIO 4 is also at 3.3 volts that is its high and the chip goes enabled because of this next I am going to put GPIO 0 to ground why because I am going to program it as soon as you program it you can remove the GPIO 0 from the ground state it's just when you are programming it next connecting the Arduino pin 0 that is the RXD with the RXD of the ESP8266 and the TXD with the TXD of the ESP8266 also since we are going to upload a bare minimum sketch like we do on an Arduino board to the ESP8266 I have also made a simple circuit of turning on and off a given LED by using GPIO02 so what I have done here is connected an LED from 1k resistor from going through 1k resistor to the ground so we can you know check uh, if our sketch is working or not so make the connection as given in this diagram and then you can directly plug the USB to the Arduino and the PC port after do doing this what you need to do is hop to your Arduino ID click on file then go to preferences and over here where you are required to put the additional boards manager URL you can paste whatever I have written over here it's in the description below you can check it just copy and paste it and press ok since I have already pasted it I am not going to press ok it's cancel for me now you can go to tools and go to the board man board I think it's over here just follow what I am doing then click on boards manager you will get a board manager and it will give you a search field option also so it's upload it's it was getting refreshed now you simply need to write ESP8266 8266 since in my platform it is already installed but if it's not installed on your platform it will ask for a download instead of remove like it's asking over here in my PC so download it and wait for it to download when you are done downloading simply go to tools click again on board and hop down 
until you find ESP generic ESP8266 module click on this and start writing a bare minimum sketch and for us the bare minimum sketch is testing an LED to go on and off after a regular interval of time so what I have what I have done over here is set the pin mode that is the pin mode of GPIO pin 2 to as an output mode and on the loop function I am just going to put a delay of 3 seconds and then going to write at pin 2 low and pin and again wait for 3 seconds and pin 2 will be high so after, after each interval of 3 seconds the LED which is connected to the pin 2 of the ESP8266 module will go high and low I mean will go on and off once you are done uploading the sketch on your ESP8266 using the Arduino you can simply go to the circuit again and remove the GPIO 0 from the ground state and also the RX and TDX from the Arduino serial pins all you have to do for a normal use you have to keep the VCC and CH pad to high that is 3.3 volts always for ESP8266 ground is pretty much required all the time and GPIO 2 since we are testing it for an LED glow and LED going on and off so that's pretty much required every time 1k resistor is only for the housekeeping stuff don't know why we used it because even I am learning so that's all for this tutorial ladies and gentlemen and that's how you program an ESP8266 Wi-Fi module using an Arduino thank you